So here we are, the big one. The game that everybody has been waiting for with bated breath, Grand Theft Auto V. I too have been waiting eagerly for its release since its reveal two years ago. And with every trailer, my excitement rose as each new snippet of gameplay left us with more questions than answers. Will it play like Grand Theft Auto 4? How big is the map? What's the story? Do I still have to go bowling with my cousin? Is it a great game? Well, I'll answer that last one. Yes. Yes, it is. Let's get started. The plot is anchored by Michael DeSanta, a former bank robber who is living the good life in Los Santos, but is surrounded by his completely dysfunctional family who hates him and he hates every second of it. Into his life enters Franklin Clinton, a young man from South Central who thinks he's surrounded by morons and is desperate to escape the minimal revenue of gang life. True to the genre, bad decisions are made and Michael and Franklin are in the criminal underworld. However, Michael and Franklin's actions grab the attention of the last member of this sinful trinity, Trevor Phillips, who is everybody's favorite meth head, sociopathic, paranoid, and psychotic, redneck, drug, and arms lord with violent tendencies that would make the most desensitized person cringe, and who just so happens to be Michael's best friend. He's not just one of the greatest characters in video games, but probably in the entirety of crime fiction. Why? It's best discovered on your own. Now, as actually what happens in the story and how it unfolds is, like I said, with Trevor, is best discovered on your own, as how it is told with some of the best writing and acting you're likely to ever see in the medium. All while against a backdrop of a viciously funny, satirized version of Los Angeles and America as a whole. Social networking, celebrity obsession, technology, television, music, politics, torture, materialization, and many more modern topics are discussed and covered with Rockstar's signature Venom Tip No Prisoners writing. The supporting characters are also much more numerous this time around and are all very well written with distinct personalities and quirks. I also have to applaud Rockstar for gambling with the idea of having three playable and very different protagonists, which could have resulted in a confusing mess of interweaved plot lines and characters. Thankfully that isn't the case and the gamble pays off beautifully. Grand Theft Auto V is a game that feels much more of an improvement than 4 was to 3. The shooting and player movement feel much more natural and precise with a cover mechanic that actually works. They even implemented a stealth mechanic, one that doesn't feel incomplete. And while it's no splinter cell, it's still fun to creep on people. The driving still retains its signature slippery controls, which gives getaways and car chases a much more dramatic feel to it and that if I wrecked it was more of my fault than the game being unfair. Everything feels weighty and natural whether it's punching a nearby pedestrian, parachuting out of a burning plane, to piloting jet skis while in a shootout, all of which helps the game's immersion. Overall, there are a total of 70 odd some story missions and while you think there'd be quite a bit of repetition, something that Grand Theft Auto 4 struggled with, each mission feels unique and essential to the story. The side missions let you participate in various missions from shooting out people's tires to going on a rampage, being a member of the paparazzi, to even delivering pot. In terms of scope, Grand Theft Auto V is born to lighting Skyrim with its sheer amount of variety and activities. You can race on land, air, and sea, play tennis, golf, darts, watch a movie or television, drink, smoke, go hunting, customize cars, buy and manage properties, take flying lessons, invest in the stock market, and more. It'll take a long time before you run out of things to do in this game. But the game's big focus is the heist. Throughout the game, you'll be able to plan a series of bank robberies and more, most of which require some planning as to which approach you'll be taking, who your crew members are, with more experienced crew members taking a bigger cut of the pay. Now, while these were extremely fun, I felt that the game needed one or two more, and it left me a bit tad unsatisfied. The character switching is a fun mechanic that changes things up, as mentioned earlier in this review. Each character has specific abilities and stats to them. Michael is good at shooting, Franklin is good at driving, and Trevor is good at flying. However, these stats can be upgraded by using them. Confused? Well, for example, the more you punch people, your strength meter goes up. The more you run, your stamina goes up, and so on and so forth. Essentially, practice makes perfect. Also, each character has their own unique special ability. Michael can go into bullet time. Franklin has his own 
bullet time for driving, and Trevor can absorb and dish out more damage. Once your ability meter is empty, it's recharged through related actions, such as shootouts or driving dangerously. The trio also have missions and activities specific to them, which can be a tad annoying at first because I really want to do assassination missions as Trevor, but you have to do them as Franklin, but this is just me nitpicking at this point. Now, one would think the mechanic of constantly switching characters would be jarring and would break the action. Once again, Rockstar has proven me completely wrong as the character switch feels fluid and soon after feels very commonplace and you'll be switching characters just to see what they're doing. Sometimes surprising you, especially with Trevor. To add more sugar to the cake, the AI is extremely competent, able to handle firefights and car chases with surprising results. Grand Theft Auto V takes full advantage of the 360 and PS3 hardware as it's definitely squeezing every ounce of power out of those systems. Textures, effects, and lighting look amazing, and the character models and animation are done extremely well, something that we've come to expect from Rockstar over the number of years that we've seen their titles. This is an extremely polished game, no doubt. However, there are occasional texture pop-ins, which shows that the game would greatly benefit on next-gen hardware or PC. The voice acting is top-notch, with some of the best and most memorable performances in a Rockstar title today, and just from games in general. Not to mention Rockstar recorded a number of original TV and radio shows and movies, all of which are fun to watch, especially with shows such as Republican Space Commandos. And to top it all off, the game has one of the best licensed soundtracks to date, with artists ranging from Queen, Stevie Wonder, Tupac, Willie Nelson, Rihanna, Flying Lotus, and more. My only gripes about the soundtrack is that I wish there was more metal and the original scores aren't entirely all that memorable. As mentioned earlier, there is a vast amount of things to do in just the single player campaign alone. The story takes around 30 hours or so to complete, and if you wish to redo a mission or take a different approach to a heist, you can, and you can replay them at any time whenever you choose. Grand Theft Auto V is a new milestone, not for the, just the open world genre, but for the industry as a whole. To be able to pull off such a project with such scope and scale is a massive achievement, and one that I couldn't see another developer doing. And Rockstar's penchant for storytelling and polish raised the bar from what we'll expect from narrative experiences in games. Not once did I find myself not smiling at the dialogue or action or the downright craziness that is GTA V. It is a truly defining game for this generation. So, for the first time ever, ever in the history of TheOverShield.com, I am rewarding Grand Theft Auto V our highest honor. A 10 out of 10. Here, darling, why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? Oh, thank you. <laughs> is, is it $7? <laughs>